Hello, welcome to Kingdom Cooking. It's been a while. I'm your host, Romel Dwayne Moore Sr. And um, don't forget, Jesus said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. Purpose of this program is to give you a delicious recipe for you and your family, and also an encouraging word from God. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and let someone know about it. Today, we're gonna to be making a Southern style Creole cabbage. All right. And we're going to teach shortly from my book, Spirit, Soul, and Body. Now the chapters here, I'm, I'm using certain analogies as a type um, throughout scripture and some things in the natural to give us a, a greater picture of man's tripartite being of spirit, soul, and body. So chapter one, we have the three branches of government. <clears throat> I use uh, the three branches of government as a type of man, spirit, soul, and body. Chapter two, fish, fowl, and beast. Chapter three, servant, horses, and prince. Chapter four, the tabernacle. Uh, chapter five, Peter, James, and John. And chapter six, of course, Jesus, humanity. <clears throat> so we're going to come out of chapter two, um, page 21. Fish, fowl, and beast. And God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the fowl of the air and over all the cattle and over all the earth. This is Genesis 1 and 26. In the beginning, God created man in his image and after his likeness and gave him dominion over the earth. The scriptures list exactly what man was given authority over. These three categories are the fish of the sea, the fowl of the air, and the beast of the field. Using the language of symbolism, I would teach you how these three groups that God gave Adam dominion over also represent man's self-government. All right. So we're going to get into that. So what I have here for the Creole seasoning, of course, you can buy uh, your favorite uh, Creole seasoning in, in the grocery store, but I made my own. So what we have here is cayenne pepper. Uh, and it's a tablespoon, pretty much of everything. Cayenne pepper, regular pepper, uh, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, thyme, oregano, regular coarse salt. And of course, I added some uh, uh, red chili flakes. All right. So that's their, that's our Creole seasoning. I have one pack of uh, bacon here. We also have, I have a cut chopped up onion, red and green peppers, and some shredded carrots. And for the sausage, you can use your favorite sausage. Uh, I'm using um, andouille sausage because of the extra uh, flavors that's packed and spices that's packed in it. And of course, one head of cabbage. So got everything already prepared. So come on over, let's get to the pot. All right, so we want to add our bacon in here. And so you can get like hickory smoke. So you can already have the hickory uh, smell and flavor to it. That adds an extra layer in your cabbage. I'm just taking it apart. We've cut it up in pieces like this. We're going to cook it until it's nice and crispy before we add the veggies. Then we will add the seasoning, the andouille sausage, and last but not least, the cabbage. And we're going to let it cook basically until uh, it reaches uh, your tenderness. We're going to Put the top on, give it at least 10 minutes. Doesn't take long, but it's, the tenderness is up to your liking. So just gonna add this in here. So I hope everyone is doing well. I know it's been a while. Um, I, had our, I had reached 100. Um, episodes on my cooking channel so quickly um, I just pretty much took a break and did some traveling 
Um, so we're gonna get back to it. And so, in spirit, soul, and body, I want to teach on today using the three categories that God gave Adam dominion over um, the creatures of the sea, the fowl of the air, and of course, the beast of the field as types of man, tripartite being of spirit, soul, and body. All right, let's take a look, see? All that goodness in there. Give it a, min a minute to cook. Render all that good flavor. Okay. And so using the three categories of beast of the field, fowl of the air, and the creatures of the sea. Of course, water represents the spirit and uh, the creatures of the sea uh, that, met, that Adam had dominion over represents uh, the things we have spiritually because the spirit of man cannot die. And when you're born again, the creatures of the sea is a type or the living creatures is a type of the living attributes, the gifts of the spirit, the fruit of the spirit, um, the things inside the spirit, the regenerated born again spirit that we have access to that is ours uh, by regeneration. Uh, the fowl of the air uh, represents the soul because it's those things that fly. And even though if you're born again, uh, the soul is the mind, will, and emotions. It is a picture of the things that fly in and out of our mind and emotions. The Bible says, be renewed in the spirit of your mind. So the soul, uh, it is not the same as the spirit, but it is spiritual. This is why we cannot see our soul. We cannot see our spirit. And so the things that the foul of the air uh, can can be foul. Okay. So the F-O-W-L can be F-O-U-L until we have fully renewed our mind by the word of God and the Holy Spirit. And of course, the beast of the field represents the flesh that cannot be redeemed, must be mortified, must be crucified, must die daily. Uh, this is where we get the nature of the beast, the fallen nature, the law of sin and death. All of that resides inside and of our flesh that's also called the carnal man. All right. So um, I break it down a little bit more in spirit, soul, and body, just to give you an idea of taking those three categories that God gave Adam dominion over to help bring illumination and become a teachable moment on how to recognize uh, the three different areas of man's tripartite being and the things we have to deal with. Okay. So we're going to let this cook. It smells wonderful. And continue to render. And we'll be back. All right. So as you can see, our bacon is nice and crispy. That look good. Of course, it smells amazing. Now, we want to mix up our Creole seasoning. I probably won't use all of this. Uh, I'll have a, maybe a third of it left over to use in another dish. I'm going to mix that well. But when possible, when you cook a lot and you have a lot of seasonings, it's best to just go and make it yourself. You pretty much can Google or YouTube how to make a certain season or seasoning. And um, you probably have the, the herbs and spices in your cabinet to go ahead and make it yourself. So now we want to add our veggies. I got my shredded carrots, 
my onions. All my peppers. There we go. Oh, it looks amazing and it smells even better. Give it a minute or two to cook. We have it on like a medium heat now. There we go. Doesn't take long at all for you cabbage lovers. I'm sure you probably have your own recipe you've been using for a while. So, so we're using the bacon fat, of course. Look at that. That wonderful. Let that cook. Let's give it a minute or two. Next, we're going to add our um, andouille sausage. Got it right in. I'm basically using one pack of four links. <clears throat> oh. And the flavor. We already got layers of flavor, but the flavor from these andouille sausage just takes it to another level. We're going to mix that. Let it cook for a few minutes. All right, let's add some of our homemade Creole seasoning here. Now you can add a little bit at a time and mix it a little if you like. It's up to you. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to let it cook down a little bit first. Then I'll mix it up. So as we let that cook down, of course, you can get my book on Amazon, Spirit, Soul, and Body, A Revelation of Man. And I wrote the book just to give the new beginner, uh, the babe in Christ believer, a uh, more foundational understanding um, of who we are, to understand that we are spirit, soul, and body, and to give you some insight using uh, symbolism to help you understand the function of the spirit, specifically the born again spirit, uh, the function and duties of the soul and the function of the flesh. And as a follower of Jesus Christ, um, as a whole person, how will one person with three separate compartments and what those compartments uh, uh, entail and how we actually walk it out, where those three separate compartments of the spirit, soul, and body are in relationship to our salvation. So that was why I wrote the book, and I hope it'd be a blessing to you. So let's check this out. Let's 
going down a little bit. Now let's mix this in. So, looking good now. All right. That look good. Let it cook down some more. All right, let's take a look. Look at here, look at here. Believer now. Take a taste. Taste here. I want some sausage and cabbage. I got some kick. Woo, Lord have mercy. That's some Creole flavor there. It's not overpowering, but it's, it's some Louisiana up in there. All right. So here we go, our Creole cabbage. Don't forget, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceed out of the mouth of God. God bless you.